Nearly all of us will need to use a RET, a rapid antigen test. So we're here at Cavendish Doctors with Dr. Appy to learn how. This is a setup for your rapid antigen test. You need a swab, you need the solution to test it in, and the kit, which will tell you whether it's positive or negative. So the first thing you do is to open up the swab. You'll see the swab. And the soft hand is what you put into your nostril. Holding it there, run it around four times. One, two, three, four. Then into the other nostril. One, two, three, four. Then you insert that into the solution. Open up that, put it inside. Dip it right down where the solution is at the bottom and twirl it around a few times. Two. Then you want to remove the swab, but you want to squeeze it at the bottom where the soft part of the swab is with the solution. Squeezing and pulling out. Taking the swab away and you have one of the stoppers available to put on the top. And that can sit there. You then have the testing kit which you open up and that's what it looks like. It's got a well at one end and this is where it'll tell you whether the result is positive or negative. If it's C, that's the control, that's a negative test. If you have two lines with C and T, that means you've got a positive test. Okay? So now it's ready. And you put it into the well. Four drops into the well. One, two, three, four. And then you wait 15 minutes to see the result. How easy was it to do the RET? It's quite straightforward, yeah. And it's easy to administer yourself. Yeah. Is it painful at all? No pain involved. A bit uncomfortable as you insert into the nostril, but it's not like the PCR where it goes right in. It's just into the nostril and twirling it around. And there are some different brands. Do any of them have different instructions? Is that confusing? No, they're all pretty much the same. Different brands, different size packs, but the way you do it is very much the same. And it looks a little like a pregnancy test. Do you need to pee on it at all? No, you don't. <laughs> it's the swab with the solution, and that's what you're testing. No urine involved. Can you use the swab on, a, on your throat as well? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, no, I think it's best to pick up the mucus from the nostril. 